Hello YouTube family, today we're going to be performing an oil change on an R1250 GSA. Some of the tools required to perform this oil change will be a T30 Torx bit, a 10 millimeter hex bit, a BMW oil filter wrench, a torque wrench, and the oil fill wrench from under the passenger seat. Parts required to perform this oil change will be 4 liters of 5W40 BMW synthetic motor oil. You're welcome to use whatever flavor you like, but I prefer using the BMW brand. A BMW oil filter, a new crush washer, some aluminium foil, a container to catch the used motor oil. Part numbers for these items will be listed in the description of this video. The first step to performing this oil change will be to remove the five T30 Torx bolts holding on the skid plate. Once the skid plate's been removed, we can locate the drain plug for removal here and position our oil catch basin. Next, we can remove the oil drain plug. One thing I did before starting this video was uh, took the bike for a ride around the block a few times to get the oil all turning inside the engine to get all the contaminants suspended in the oil. While the oil is draining, now is a good time to inspect drain plug as it is magnetic for any metal debris that may have accumulated at the bottom of the engine. Mine's fairly clear but the little bit of residue and metallic items that's collected on the magnet it's a good time to clean that off. Also removing your old crush washer. Before removing the oil filter I'd like to take the aluminium foil to cover the exhaust as BMW engineers so brilliantly designed the R1250 and uh, their motorcycles with the oil filter positioned directly over the exhaust so when you crack that oil filter oil tends to get all over your exhaust. As you can see the tin foil protects the exhaust from the used motor oil. Before installing the new oil filter I like to take a rag clean all the surfaces for the new oil filter to seat properly. I also take a, a drop of the used motor oil and coat the new gasket which prevents the gasket from sticking and seizing to the motor. Now thread on our new oil filter. Remove the tin foil. Once we've installed our oil filter, we can then torque it down to 11 Newton meters. For our American friends, that's 97 and a half inch pounds. Next, we'll tighten our drain plug and new crush washer to 42 Newton meters. Next, we're going to take our oil fill wrench from underneath the passenger seat and loosen the oil fill plug to prepare to reinstall fresh motor oil. I like to use this long neck funnel that I use only for motor oil. Next, we're going to install 4 liters of fresh BMW 5W40 synthetic motor oil. Next, 
Next, we'll reinstall the fill plug, tightening it with the wrench, oil fill plug wrench from underneath the passenger seat. Next, we can start the motorcycle. Confirm there are no leaks. Uh, once we've done that, we can reinstall the skid plate and reset our service reminder. The last step of this service will be to remove the side panel on the right hand side of the bike, gaining access to the ODB port so that we can insert our code reader and reset our service reminder. Once the side cover has been removed, we can access the ODB port Plug in our code reader and begin the service reminder reset procedure. Unfortunately, uh, I'll be utilizing my phone for this, so I will include screenshots of the procedure. can now see that the service has been performed and we're good for another 10,000 kilometers or one year whatever comes first. This concludes the oil change portion of our 20k service.